Hey everybody, this is Ori from Astro Web, and I'm going to introduce to you today Cloudflare firewall rules, right? So Cloudflare, in addition to its CDN capabilities, allows you to use a uh, firewall to set up fi firewall to set up your own rules to use automated rules um, and allows you to better secure your site and make your server work less and accept less traffic and block you who you don't want, right? Uh, for security wise, for server uh, resource wise, for a lot of different things. So um, before I get into the firewall rules, which are the ones that you can custom set and give you an example or two, I want to just walk you through the basic uh, overview, right? So here, when you click on firewall, you're logged into your Cloudflare backend, and you can see some basic thing about how the firewall is being used, how many times it's being triggered, how many times it's blocking requests based on your, your requirements, um, and some basic information about the stats, right? User agents, IPs, certain URLs that are being blocked by country, uh, hosts, etc., and specific one by one by one. You can see the details of a uh, what's actually trying to block, right? So you can see those details, right? Now, what? Why do I mention this? Even though this is a custom firewall rules video, sometimes when you look at the stats, you realize that you need to adjust your firewall rules, maybe add some or maybe remove. Maybe you're triggering something, you did a wrong setup and you actually want to um, adjust your, your settings, right? You did it wrong or you need to add or you need to secure more. So this is good to pay attention regularly to see how you make adjustments, right? Maybe you notice there's a lot of attacks on a certain URL you don't want to access and you notice it's by country. You can filter, you can click here, filter, and you can look at it in more detail and look at only this URL within the specific other attributes, right? So um, other than that, there's a manage rules, which has these automated rules, which I can turn on the firewall and I can use the automated rules that Cloudflare recommends based on best practices, uh, security best practices for specific uh, setups for specific platforms, for example, Magento. Okay, and then they also have OWASP rules. You can set up the sensitivity um, and you can set up all these other ones. But a nice thing you can do is also click on advance and turn off on and off one by one. So now let's go into the actual uh, purpose of this video, which is talking about firewall rules. So uh, firewall rules are, are really good. Based on the type of plan, you'll be able to have a certain amount of active firewall rules you can set up. And what you can do is when you set up a firewall rule, you will be able to set the rule based on all of these parameters. They call them fields. Um, so they would be by URL, by country, by IP address, by host name, the domain name, refer, uh, things, uh, cookies is one I'm going to show in this video, um, and all this information, right? SSL, URL, uh, pass. HTTP version, user agent, and uh, threat scores. Okay, so when you set up uh, an actual rule, you're gonna decide what is the condition, when does it apply, and then you're gonna uh, talk about the action. What happens when this condition applies? I want to have the firewall block the traffic, challenge, right, give them a CAPTCHA for example, allow them to pass or bypass completely the firewall, right? If you have another setting, you might wanna bypass. Okay. So um, wh why do you need all of these things? What's, what's the concept? So in general, without the firewall, everything is considered allow, right? So everything is passing through. So it's going, the traffic of the, the customer, the visitor is going through, the, uh, through Cloudflare, just going to the website. It's getting the web pages that it needs. Now what you can do with the firewall, you can block things, right? And so sometimes you're going to have to have multiple rules, okay? So let's give you another, uh, an example, and I want to give you, uh, after that, a more uh, complicated example. So let's say I have this page right here, and this is one of my service pages, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to copy this URL, and I'm going to say, for example, I want to block this whole page for everybody. So I would go here, and this is the most simple example. Type in URI. I can say equals, or in this case, I want to say contains because it's a very unique page. And it says if this URL contains this information in the URL, which obviously it does, I want to block completely everybody, 100% of the visitors. I'm going to deploy this. Okay. Now I see it here. It's enabled, and I can see how many times it's triggered this specific rule. Okay. So if I go here and I hit enter, okay. Let me go here. Let me actually open it in a new window. 
okay? You can see uh, that the firewall actually blocked my access right here. So access denied by Cloudflare. That's it. It does not serve the web page at all. Okay, so this is the most basic information here. Now, if you go here to your actual firewall, if you wait uh, probably about a minute or so, you'll be able to see that the number has changed. So how many times was the firewall rule executed, right? And it's not real time. This is why I say it's about a minute. Depends. Sometimes it's more or less. Um, and so you'll see how many times triggered. So here, here you go. It's triggered one time. So I know it, it's working. Obviously, I tested it out myself, but I can also know by data that it's actually working, right? And I can see this. I can click, and I can see the stats, right? I can see all the information right here. Okay, great. So this is the most basic one. Just I want to, I'm going to edit this. I want to block everybody. Now, what I can do here, I can do something else. I can say, you know what? I want to block anyone who visits the URL, and they are, for example, from, let's say, Let's give you an example right here, okay? They are from, they do not equal, let's say, I want to block them if they do not equal, and what right now I'm located in Taiwan. Okay, if they're not Taiwan and they visit here, I wanna block them, okay? So I'm gonna block everybody other than Taiwan that visit this page. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna open here, I'm gonna go to the page, Okay, and you see that I'm from Taiwan right now. I'm located in Taiwan. So the web page loaded for me. But if I'm in a different country, the web page won't load, right? So it's going to block it. Obviously, if I refresh the page, assuming it's refresh, it'll still be one because it didn't block me. It allowed me to pass by. Okay, now this is example number one. Okay, so uh, I want to give another example. Okay, and this is a little more complex. Okay, so sometimes you need to set up more than one rule, right? So here, for example, I said, hey, I anyone who goes this URL that's not from Taiwan, I want to block it. But sometimes you want to s specify multiple rules. Say, I want to allow these people, but I don't want to allow, I want to block these kind of people, okay? And sometimes you need to do that because the rule engine is not so complex. You can have ands or or, right? This condition and this condition apply. But sometimes you want to do other things like this, this, and this, or this, and this, and this, and that, right? So you might have to set up these custom rules. So the reason why I explain this is um, if you have multiple rules that apply, then Cloudflare will take the priority of the rule. You see, this is priority number one and number two. And so whenever the page loads, Cloudflare will go and look through its list, look through number one, does the rule apply? Yes. Number two, does the rule apply? Number three, does the rule apply, etc. If you have multiple rules that apply, the only the first one in the list will actually apply. So let's assume this and this both apply. So it's only going to trigger this action, right? So whatever this rule, if the condition is met, it's going to block, for example, it's going to allow. So in some cases, you need to specify multiple things. So for example, I want to allow, uh, let's say US traffic, but I want to block everybody else. Or I also want to allow a certain IP address or a certain cookie, right? So you're going to have to set up, in many cases, this first allow something, then you block something, okay? So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions in the comments, uh, just let me know. I'll answer, like, give me your case, and, and I'll help you uh, create it, okay? So let me set up another thing. That was, that was a good example, and you're going to use that a lot. Okay, so let me uh, create another case, which is an interesting one. So sometimes you want to block something based on like an IP address. If your company has like a set a static IP, you want to block it. But sometimes you don't have you don't have a static IP, or you don't have a VPN that you can go tr through traffic. So it, other things you can do. Let me delete this. Is you can set up interesting rules. For example, I want to allow allow traffic. Uh, from from browsers that have a certain cookie that have a cookie okay and this is just an example so I can go here and say okay first of all if the URL equals this and let me do contains okay and my browser cookie my cookie contains for example uh, J and Smith okay so my my cookie name is J and the value is Smith 
if I do this, I'm going to say, hey, anyone that goes to this URL and has the cookie, J Smith, I want to allow them. Okay, and I'm going to deploy this. Okay, and you see the rule. I'm going to put this number two because I don't want to affect my actual site. So the URL index en and cookie equals J Smith, allow them. And then I'm going to block everybody else. Okay, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to say block this for everybody else, okay? And I'm gonna say URI, and it's gonna contain, and I'm gonna put this right here. Let's see, I, I didn't misspell that. Index, okay, and I'm gonna block them, okay? So now I have my condition, my rule right here, and I'm gonna drag this down so I don't affect my site because the order is very, very important. I'm gonna go here. So this was, excuse me, my mistake, okay. And so first of all, my rule would say, hey, if the URL is that and I have a certain cookie, I want to allow it. Everybody else I'm going to block. So by order. So the system, when, the, when it loads the page, it's going to say, hey, does this condition apply? Does someone have this URL and the cookie? Cool, allow. If it doesn't, go to the next rule and check it and say, oh, if someone in this URL, right, this URL, oh, no, boom, block them. Okay, great. So if I go to this URL right now, I'm gonna open my window again. Okay, boom. Okay, so now it's not working. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this cookie on my browser. It's gonna be called JSmith. So now I'm gonna go here and I'm going to go to my website, go to my website here. I'm just gonna go to the website and I'm on Chrome. I'm gonna click on inspect and I'm going to go to application, my cookies, going to go here. I'm going to add a new kick cookie, okay? So my cookie is J Smith, okay? And I'm going to actually take, make sure it doesn't expire my cookie. Let's just add another year here. Going to secure it, make sure it's only accessible by HTTP, going to secure it, okay. So now, assuming I did that correctly, if I go to the URL itself, I should be allowed to visit. Okay, perfect. Okay, now I'm allowed to visit. That's it. So because I have this cookie, I am good with the firewall rule. Okay, so let's say, let me close the window and let me try to access that without the cookie because I added an incognito window, so I shouldn't have the cookie now. And you see it's blocked. Okay, so this is the example of how you have the rule of use a cookie, have, allow this person or this person that has a cookie, and then block everybody else. So this is a multi-rule. This is an example that you would do it with the multi-rule, okay? And you can do things in many different ways. You can combine ands and ors, but in a lot of cases, you wanna do things like this. It's for organization, making the rules simpler, and it's for, for having more complex rules, okay? And the order matters, right? So um, that's pretty much it, right? So. When you have examples, again, and you can comment and ask, but you can use any of these. These are the refer headers. Where did someone come from before they entered that page? The URLs, the query string, if, if it would be something like, you know, Q equals something. So you can, you can do many, many things here. If you have any questions about it, obviously you have documentation, or you can ask me in the comments. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Hope you enjoyed this video and you use firewalls. You secure the network. You secure your website, you make things safer, you make your server work less, this is just a good, a good idea. And you can protect specific places on your website that are restricted to certain amount of people, or certain people, certain groups, uh, certain rules. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we'll be making more and more videos. Thank you again for your time, everybody. Appreciate it.